YouTube, it's your boy Just Tim Johnson. I'm coming at you all with another unboxing slash review. Today's date is September the 3rd. I'm not sure when I'm going to be able to upload this video. I apologize in advance because of the editing issue that we're having. There's some creative differences. That's all it is, but we're going to work it out. Everything is going to work out like exactly like it's supposed to. Just bear with me. And I appreciate each and every one of you tribe members for tuning in, staying in tune, and walking this mile with us, okay? So today is the day that the Yeezy 350 Gray Slate released, as well as the staple of the weekend, which is the Air Jordan 6 Georgetown Gray, all right? Uh, there's another colorway, the actual official colorway. I'm going to read that off the box in a moment. We're going to dispel, we're going to put the myth to rest today, okay? Which is the better Jordan 6 of the, the entire year? Now, the consensus is, is that the Midnight Navy should be in the running because essentially, you know, this was one that retro, it actually originally released in 2000 and I want to say one maybe, uh, keep me honest, it might be 2000. Uh, from that point, it's been about 20 years since we saw that and then we got it again this year. But the UNC 6, this Georgetown 6, that red Oreo is automatically out to running now. Like the leather quality on it was nice. It's not in the top three. Uh, there may be a small percentage of, of people essentially asking about the Chrome 6. I haven't seen any photos of it, so I can't definitively say that's going to be released. I know it's on a calendar somewhere, but I haven't seen, and I'm going to try to get a, a thumbnail of it on one of these corners. But until I see it, and I ain't seen no credible source saying that we're going to have it, I don't know, so forget about it. All right, so we're going to deal with what we got in hand, all right? Today's unboxing was this one. And I got the DSG pickup with the wristband joint. All right, so there's the box. And then we'll read the style code off. It says uh, Air Jordan 6 Retro. The colorway is uh, Magnet and College Navy. I didn't know Magnet had a color, but all right. And the color code is uh, Charlie Tango 85290012. The retail price on these was, uh, I want to say, 200 there's the QR code, show you all that. All right. Now, y'all saw this shoe 400 times today, all right, in this week. There's the uh, there's that from DSG. All right, there's the price. All right, we'll put that there. We're gonna unbox this and you got the black paper overlapping the white paper and this is what you have this is an in-hand review you definitely gonna need your rejuvenator for these shout out to rejuvenator in many worlds um i took a couple pair of my shoes over there today too y'all gonna see that on a later video where i got the uh sole shields for my unc sixes the pad that i'm keeping i got on the shock drop from the sneakers app there's a previous video on that one and the cool gray 11s sole shields for them and I had to redo the yellow one for my Chris Paul 13s, the white ones. All right, so I'm not going to do a sole shield on these. Let me give you the, the why behind it. Yes, it does have the icy outsole, but because this is predominantly gray, when it yellows, the gray is going to blend right in. The, the icy is going to blend right in with that when it starts to oxidize. So it's not really of value to do that. Now, if this was essentially like, say, white, then, yeah, I would get the sole shield. Let me give you a, an example real quick before we get back to this shoe. Let me tell you all exactly what I mean by that. So like with the, with the commands, right? I got the sole shields on these and these still DS because as you can see, it's an icy outsole, but it's predominantly white. So you have to protect it because this gonna get, this gonna start turning yellow and then it's gonna deoxidize. So that's gonna be two separate colors. Whereas with this one, it's already gray and it's already like an earth tone color. You ain't gotta worry about that, the gray part yellowing. All right, so this is going, this definitely hitting the pavement, all right? I think I hit another one on the ship to me option on the uh, flex system through Foot Lock, I believe. Now, the suede quality, let's move this out the way because we're going to get into this comparison too. All right. So there's the box. We're going to put it over here. Here they are, in hand. All right. The DSG pickup. Here's the medial side. Here's the lateral side. Front view, focus for me, iPhone. That's why I'm not an iPhone person. There's the rear view. 
There's no extra laces, anything that. And then here's the navy blue, midnight navy blue lace lock, the midnight navy blue jump man, the midnight navy blue accent on the pull tabs, the uh, the insole is midnight navy with a gray jump man. Let me pull this paper. I don't know why they didn't give us the cardboard, but I, right, you know. So this is what they gave us. All right, there's that. Okay, you know what these I poured this out, so these officially undiest. All right, so we got this. All right, now here's the question of the day. Let's take this out. We're only gonna use one. We're gonna use the right one for this one. And like I said, I took mine over uh, the pay I'm keeping. I took them over and got. I'm gonna get the uh, soul shield on this because this is white, right? So that's gonna be yeah, that's gonna be double trouble. So I'm gonna get that. Here's the question. All right, let, let's go ahead. Let, let, let's let's have at it. All right. Which one you got? You got the gray, the Georgetown six, or you got the UNC six? All right. Let, let, let me do this for before we get into that, right? Before we get deep, deep up into it, people. The suede on this, fire. Like, it's immaculate. Like, I can't even lie. The, the quality on these joints, like, there's, I haven't heard of anybody yet. Now, online pairs haven't touched hands yet and haven't dropped on doorsteps. But if everybody got a pair in their hand and anybody did an early review, I haven't heard anybody say anything as far as the quality control on these. For the most part, these are immaculate, right? Now, the suede is not that, it's not as, it's, it's noticeable and it's nice, right? Like, gray is my favorite color. This is nice. See, this pop, this, these are them cowboy colorways here. I might even hit these with some navy blue laces. I saw that in the Goddam Cars Discord. Shout out to Goddam Cars, too, for the Discord. Uh, it's not as coarse as the khaki six, per se. Like, if I can get you all, let me show you that one. Now that we in here let's see if this is 3m2 i didn't even think about that uh i can't really tell comment down below if y'all i think it is i can't really see it so y'all got to comment for me but yeah it's not as it's not as coarse as this is right this that course you still want to hit this with their rejuvenator right it's not as coarse as this but it, it's nice though like it, it, it's it's immaculate all right but here's the thing it ain't this shoe it's not okay now the quality control on these was, was was subpar, right? You got the the collegiate iconic tag back here. You got the Argyle North Carolina print behind this. All right. Now we're talking about detailing now, right? We're not talking about just quality. Quality these is winning. These are winning is from a quality standpoint, but the details on this one is better. All right. This new buck is nice. Like like this, the way they pop this out, and then with the North Carolina with the with the Midnight Navy behind it. And then the white laces, I would probably swap these out with some Carolina blue laces if I could find the exact Carolina blue colorway for that. Otherwise, you know what? Leave me alone. Now, here's the thing, right? This shoe, this is why this shoe wins. Let, let me break this down all the way down for everybody, for all the tribe members. This shoe released on the same date that the North Carolina Tar Heels beat Coach K in his last home game at Cameron indoor arena all right this shoe released the north carolina tar heels got that w in duke the last acc regular season game of the 2022 season before the acc tournament started this shoe released on that day that within itself is why that shoe is better than this shoe please give me your opinion on why you think this one is better than that one. Um, feedback is a gift. Let's talk. You know, let's chop it up. Let's see. Again, quality. This shoe is on is above par. This shoe is almost subpar when it comes to quality. All right. Let me just keep it a buck with y'all. Like, like Jordan Brankett did. But now the concept of it though, especially with the sock line. Let me show y'all that again. Right. Just the boom. Right. You feel what I'm saying? On the same day. That the North Carolina Tar Heels beat. I heard Duke say what? Oh, okay. All right. Anyway, back to this though. These Georgetowns is popping. All right. Now I'm not sure if they have a uh, a Georgetown PE in this colorway. 
I would like to see it. Uh, salute to my nephew, Unbreakable Kids, because if, if they got it, he got it. Uh, English Show, Souls, or Sneaker Sluts, somebody or that one. Or uh, there's the, what's the other brother name? Forgive me on IG. Somebody drop the comment down below. That uh, the perfect pair. That's what it is. That that individual. They got all the heat when it comes to the P too. Yeah, but this is nice though. Like people, I ain't gonna lie. Like this is definitely staying in the collection. All right. The second pair, uh, Shuby, Pooby. If if y'all didn't get them in y'all size, size twelve, I got one coming. Holler at me. Uh, if by the time y'all see this video, if it's still here, then you know if if neither one of those two individuals have reached out to me and go wheezy. Uh, if neither one of them three have reached out to me and you comment down below, you got to get at me in some form or fashion, we'll work something out. Uh, I'm not looking at trying to make no profit off of it essentially, but I'm not losing no money on it. So let, let's just be all the way clear on that one right now. Unless you somebody I really know. You know what? I'm not even in. Nope. Cause y'all play too many games. Like every time I, I do something for one of y'all, I got to break my neck and then no, you paying what I pay for it Mi at minimum. Let's just, we not even finna do that. All right. So that's what we got. Oh, shout out to Cuzzo Clothing, too. Like, let, let me show y'all this. So this is what I wore. I wore this Cuzzo. Let me. Boom. I wore this. The Ace of Spade Cuzzo Clothing shirt. Like, shout out to Cuzzo Clothing with the infrared. Sixes. See, you got to rock sixes when you pick up sixes. All right? That's what, that's what you got to do. Now, the Air Jordan 3 OG Fire Red comes out this upcoming week, which is September the 10th. I don't know what shoe I'm going to wear for that. I don't know if I want to wear OG or if I want to wear something red. I don't know. Comment down below what you will wear. Hey, I appreciate you all tuning in each and every time we drop a video over here. I appreciate you all being extremely and phenomenally patient as we get the editing concept back on track. I assure you, it's not that I've lost passion. It's just that I want to make sure when I drop this content for you all, you all uh, take time out of your day your week, your schedule, whatever you're doing, your commute, you're running your errands to view this content. I want this content to be acceptable for you all. Feedback is a gift. Like, comment, subscribe, comment down below. Tell a friend to tell a friend. We should walk this mile together. I appreciate each and every one of y'all. Let me know if you cop the Yeezys and how they look in hand and what you think. Are you keeping those? Uh, and let me know what's your next target. Is it the OG35 Red? Let's talk about that one too, people. All right, it's your boy, Jess Tim Johnson. Peace.